As we count down to Christmas, more people are struggling this year than ever before, but some of them are taking every opportunity to give back to the community when they can. Nicole Ford is live in Manesson tonight with a story of how one local restaurant is doing just that. Nicole. Kim, the pasta shop here on the main drag in Manesson opened nearly 25 years ago. Typically on Tuesdays, its doors are closed, but today they opened and inside it's bustling with activity as one by one healthcare workers, first responders and teachers head on in for a free dinner. With the latest state shutdown orders, the pasta shop in Manesson. It's like being at your kitchen table. Um, it's loud, it's people are laughing is missing the people element. We are 30 minutes out. We're just a small business here, 35 seat little restaurant um, that's trying to give back something positive. From healthcare workers to first responders and even teachers too. To anybody that has been going 110% through, through COVID. Russell Johnson is opening the doors for a pop-up kitchen that will provide free meals to each of them. It's a smile that will carry me further in life than making a dollar. Um, granted, financially this year with the restaurant industry, industry, it's not where I want to be, but it's allowed me to do things to make my heart feel good. It started with a Facebook post that exploded outside the borders of his small town. The reach is unbelievable, um, and the outpouring support is unbelievable. Um, we'll get people to just call and say thank you and hang up. and. Um, it, it just feels good to give. From chicken parm to spaghetti, this handful of dedicated staff is working tirelessly to prepare roughly 400 meals. It's a unity effort, and that's what we push forward in our community. Johnson says this all started with a donation to the restaurant. He tells me he went to his staff who says they're doing okay right now and to use that money to give back to the community. Reporting live in Manesson tonight, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.